<laughs> Thanks, Mr. Carry me in a hole. 1080 for the prime. New headphones? Nah, old ones. Mr. Storm Blast for the Prime. Da, da, da. Thanks, Mr. Foggy. Summer 23 for the 28 years. Yeet. Yeet. Is Leah playing that Octo Path Traveler game? No, she's not. No, she's playing Slay the Spire. It's like, I, I don't know. I was kind of off put by that game's graphics, but it actually looks pretty nice. like a video of it it's a nintendo game though or is it no it's just released on the switch it's not a nintendo game let me mute this real quick It, it kind of looks okay. Hmm. Oh, I was like, maybe I should stream this game. Thanks, Mr. Jedi. Welcome Salt to the world months. of Octopath Traveler. Today, we'll highlight some fascinating ways in which you'll play out your many grand adventures here. We begin with our eight travelers. You may embark on any of their journeys each starting at a different land with a different goal and means of achieving it. With so many possibilities, there's no need to choose just one path. No matter who you begin with, you can recruit your other fellow travelers down the road. You can experience their tales as well by switching characters in and out of your party. This kind of reminds you me of Final Fantasy VI. You can enjoy all eight six. stories in a single playthrough. Prepare for eight adventures. And we have a bunch of uh, main characters that all meet up in the middle of the game. discover what lies beyond the horizon. Each traveler has his or her own distinct abilities. These can be divided into path actions and talents. First, let's look at path actions, which provide a variety of ways for your travelers Stealing? to interact with the people around them. Challenge townspeople to battle. Acquire items from them. That's me, them the noble path. Destinations. Learn their untold secrets and more. For example, Ophelia can guide townspeople and take them along on her journey while Hane can sick her companion beasts on people and provoke them into doing battle. Next, we have talents, character-based abilities I don't like that the will character serve sprites, you on the battlefield but the, the and monster in your travels. Is quite nice. For example, Therion can unlock otherwise unopenable treasure chests. Cyrus can suss out one of your but foes' the weaknesses quite cool. at the start of each battle. But the characters really and look Elfin like they come from 1995. And ingredients to concoct potions and hazardous substances. With path actions and talents, a wide range of options are at your disposal. Which characters will you take along on your journey? 
Just imagine the possibilities. GRPG is too slow for my taste. You don't want my taste at all, then, boy. I literally play for every single Final Fantasy the game there is, except for that MMO. In Eleven. I played fourteen glance, even, but that game is terrible. This might seem like your typical turn-based battle system, but let's take a closer look. Exploit your foe's weaknesses to shatter their defenses. This is the break system. Break your foes, and they'll be incapacitated for a period of time. Your chance to strike. That's who, who, when who chose this narrator? It doesn't system. fit the game at all. Spend the boost points you accrue with each turn to augment like the strength. It's like a movie trailer, not a video game trailer. Your actions and devastate your foes. Next, let's explore the job system. In addition to each protagonist's starting job, you'll have the opportunity to take on an additional secondary job. Doing so will allow you to equip new weapons and use new skills. Opening up new strategies I do like GRPG battle, games, but the thing about the recent ones is that they're terrible. To match their new a lot of them are terrible. Allowing you to customize the look of your party to your heart's desire. Especially the weeby ones. Furthermore, well, this doesn't look weeby at all, like, the not even close. Your preference. Do you want to start from basic, low-cost abilities that you can use often? Or would you prefer to take a chance with high-cost abilities that pack a punch? From jobs to abilities, Game looks really you can build easy, a though, party just to your preferred playstyle. You're telling me each boss has four weaknesses, that's eight weapon you types? On your journey? By what means Every time you, you hit them once in the their weakness, they get stunned? Before you. Like How will your characters grow it looks and really rise easy. to tackle the formidable foes that stand in their way? In Octopath Traveler, every choice is yours to make. Octopath Traveler I, is available I, now. I think I'll maybe give a this game a go. A demo is available for download. And you can carry your progress over to the full game once purchased. Eight. Maybe I'll give this a go. The hmm. doctor told me to get in a bath tubs full of milk to soothe my sunburn. I asked him, pasteurized? No, just up to your neck. He said. The doctor told me to get in a bathtub full of milk to soothe my sunburn. What kind of doctor? Who suggests a full bathtub of milk? I asked him, pasteurized? No, just up to your neck, he said. Terrible, dude. Terrible. Terrible. It's time. It's time for fishing simulator. How was the Pacquiao fight? I don't think I watched that one. No, the latest one? No, I definitely didn't watch it. The characters look like they're from Night of Lotus. The characters look like they're from any SNES GRPG game. Any of them, really. Thanks, Mr. Leafy Sea Dragoon. Thank you very much for the prime. Now, I've been itching to play uh, a nice progression kind of game where you can progress characters. I've been playing a lot of games where you just kind of get stuck in these. these, these oh my god, it's dark. I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, in these games where you get stuck on a character that doesn't really get stronger. Like that fucking Last of Us game, for example. Hmm, I completely forgot what I was doing. How much water do I have? Plenty water. Oh, I have the radiation. I was going to the... that. I couldn't go there before because there was radiation blocking me. What's that? Life pot 13. Is this hardcore mode? God, no. Hardcore mode, you only have one life and then your save gets deleted, man. And that shit is not worth. Da, da, da. Good night, Mr. Singer. will cheer for you when I wake up. Thanks, Mr. Henry. I'm probably still gonna be streaming by the time you're up. If you're going to sleep now. Can I just crash into a fish again? <laughs> I need to find a way to refill the energy of this thing. I need to make batteries, I guess. 
Which is copper plus mushrooms plus something. It has to be this, right? Power cells. So silicon rubber. So it's basically just copper and mushrooms because I have like infinite silicon rubbers. Do I like RTS games? Yes. RTS. Hmm. RTS games is basically my main genre. Uh, like, uh, as it goes for video games, it's. Oh my god, it's down there. It's the one genre when it comes to PvP, it's my most comfortable genre. Like I struggle in some video game genres, man. Like I, like even if my life depends on it, I cannot make fighting games work. Like I, it's impossible for me. Those games are just mechanically impossible for me for some reason. FPS? No, I, I don't really play much FPS games either. Passing two hundred meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. I don't have that much oxygen for this. Is there really radiation here? Can I use my rebreather? Oh, there's no radiation here. What the fuck? It was just that one path I took before. I still don't have a sea glider, by the way. Apparently, that's like one of the first things you're supposed to find. Oh, that's the upgrade thingy, I guess. Nuclear reactor? I dropped my rebreather? Oh, whoops. How come right click is dropping things and not da, da, da. using things? You don't know how much someone is worth to you until you treat or send them. Where did I drop it? I guess. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's no radiation here. You don't know how much someone is worth to you until you try to sell them. They really want you to find this rifle. Can I fix this as a new base? I don't think so. Just pick up. Was it this? I think it was this one. Fraction of Son, there is always a pecking order, and in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes. So long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. It's true. You can pay people to do anything. It's true. Hmm, I guess I'm just gonna go inside now. Oh, does, it, does it do damage if I go past these... Are you shitters? 
I didn't hear anything. Did anyone hear anything? I didn't hear shit. I didn't hear anything. Nope. Didn't hear a thing. No, sir, no. No weird sounds here whatsoever. Integrating new PDA data. Oh fuck, they do hurt if you touch them. French Mr. Hill Chow for the two months favorite weapon in months on the world. Great sword, of course, dude. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me, more than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But... Father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we can build a containment unit and get up close to them. Hmm. Yes. That was normal, I think. I think I'm done here, aren't I? Oh, I'll, I'll go for one more look. I'm kind of scared of dying here because then I have to build a new sea moth to go to my cocoon sea moth, no? It just seems like all kinds of ass. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. New blueprint acquired. Hmm. I got the full blueprint now for the modification center. I guess that's the one you make to upgrade the plus ultra fins. Hmm. 
Oh my god, the damage on that, but the HP comes back. What happens when you hit flowers of urine trouble? What happens when you get pissed off? You're in trouble. What the fuck is that? Welcome aboard, Captain. <clears throat> So they put eggs in these things? Huh. Okay. One more bit one more one more swim through the base and I'm done here. I'm gonna get out of here. <coughs> Thanks, Mr. Fantastic Dam Gay. For the eleven year stream say for honor has a lot of improvement with the latest patches. Yeah, but I don't think I'm revisiting the game. No real interest. Vital signs stabilizing. PUBG waiting room. I barely know anyone anymore that still plays PUBG. That game died off so hard when, when Fortnite took off. Oh, there. Da -da -da. At Singsing, I just graduated a couple of months ago. Now studying to be a registered physical therapist. Thanks for making my life easier for almost six years. Love you, bro. Oh, six years? What? Well, thank you very much, Mr. Gagzilla. For following me for six years. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the deep for me, man. <laughs> for the two months. Da -da -da. Thanks, Mr. Terrible Feelings. For that one. Prime. Claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they can do. I've been attempting to implement my findings. Hello, Mr. Stranger. He says understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, da -da -da. observing, taking notes, testing in theories, the shows me the world so life in a way is a spectroscopic never Life is shit in the Philippines. You make the days better. They ambush that prey man. as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Mm, I guess I'll build a battery just in case cuz I I'm kind of scared of just the uh, the thingy running out of energy like midway somewhere This one's just empty Perfect Oh, I have one battery on me. Yeah. 
CDR. Thanks, Mr. Four Hudo Google. For 21 years. Four. <laughs> Cheat the rehead. Torch light? No, I don't need a torch light. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh, I had a battery here too. Oh no. And I'll hold on to a normal battery for now, anyway, since I have it. J just in case. Just in case. Mr. Samsung, when are you coming to New Zealand? I need you to sign my doodle. <laughs> oh, shit. When am I coming to New Zealand to sign your doodle? Yeah, I don't think. Uh... No. No. Come on, just let me go. Motherfucker. I don't think I have any plans of going to New Zealand, man. It just seems like uh, a little bit too far away for me. You feel? Besides, what am I gonna do in fucking New Zealand? Why? Why is there a reason people will visit New Zealand? Is there anything you want to see? Maybe like the Lord of the Rings? Oh shit! Like the Lord of the Rings casting site, filming site. What the fuck? Mr. Samsung, I live there, you <laughs> bastard. Why you gotta hurt my feels, Bran? Yes, <laughs> unfortunate to be you, dude. Well, no, for real, though. Is there a reason to visit New Zealand, like, uh, as a tourist? Vital signs stabilizing. Nature? Motherfucker, there's nature outside of my house. Glaciers, they kind of pretty. What if I pay for airfare? Come on, bro. Doodle really wants to be signed. I ain't signed no doodles. <clears throat> no, I go to a glacier. If I fly for 15 hours, that better be like a fucking porn star ready on a hotel room that's like five stars for me. Why, why is it just chilling next to my base? Is it stealing my boxes? My grill will take one for the team. She'll understand smile. <laughs> Selling out his girlfriend. He was bad, man. Sold like a piece of meat. But nah. No plans of going to New Zealand, man. None at all. I don't think... I've never really considered even going to New Zealand. It's like, hmm... I guess I go there now. How about Australia? No, also not really. It's too far, man. It's way too far. It's like 20 hours flights for me. Do you know how lazy I am? Oh fuck, I don't go to grocery stores. Uh, that's further away than three minutes of walking. It better be like 30 seconds or less. Like this? Three minus <laughs> Why is life like this? Yeah, life sucks, dude. Life sucks. That's why you escape in video games. Then you don't have to live in real life.
Dun, 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 dun. Oldie Schnitzel hosted me up for 300 viewers. Whoa! Guess I'll host him back later if, he, if he's ever on. Mr. Schnitzel! Yeah, that, those are new mobs. I've never seen those before. The question is, the are they aggressive? Is dominated by plant life. It's dominated by plant life? They're probably not carnivores, right? They're probably herbivores. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. There's no way these are herbivores. No, come on, come on, bro. Let me scan you, bro. All right. Let me put on my mask too. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's see. Where is it? of plants herbivores jelly ray inedible hmm inedible you know there's at least one Chinese guy in this game that tried to eat one of these things and then he put that in his nose it's inedible Cyclops? It's a new submarine. What? Sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one on and off and on again. That guy's German for sure, right? Hmm. That's normal. I'm sure we won't meet him, right? Hmm. the story so far nothing really we're basically just following the trails of a bunch of dudes they're leaving like these these voice logs behind and then we're gathering them one by one no news base i guess we just explore this area a bit God fucking damn it. Time capsule? What is this? Are you certain? 
Whatever you're doing is worth it. Laser cutter? Thermal blade? What? Wait, did, was the thermal blade just this thing? It's items left by other players? What do you mean other players? Oh, time capsules items a player left behind when they finish a game? So what did I get? I got a... Oh, it was a new... It's a new thermal blade. What? Cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. Laser cutter. And a spare repair tool, spare habitat builder, spare scanner. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now I was looking at it, it's like, what is that, you know? Hmm. Hmm. They look different from the usual sand sort. Sharks. Doesn't work. Guess I'll go deeper. <laughs> save. Oh, I should save. Of course. I just got a bunch of new stuff. <laughs> just have to be <laughs> careful not to go too deep because I don't want Since my vehicle to stay down. Minus one thousand five hundred. Now, can you give shout out to my grill, Georgia? Less than. Of course, three. man. Big shout out to Georgia. Your grill. Which way is down? This way. Ah, 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 ah. This is as deep as I can go with it. That thing only goes down to 200 meters. Man, this shit goes deep. There's a hole down there too, you see that? Guess I'll check it out. Uh, that's 60 meters already. Oh, another time capsule. Dude, what? Oh. Another thermal blade. Silver ore. Reclaimed water. Ah, this one was kinda underwhelming. I have two thermal blades now, man. I guess I just store the other ones I don't need right now. You can read their leftover message to in PDA. Alright. Let's see. Where do we see it? Time capsules. Goodbye. To you that... What the fuck? To you that finds this, I crashed here with nothing, but I had to leave so much behind. I leave these tools that were my saving grace, but I had to take the battery from the repair tool. Sorry. If you find her, take care of her. Be careful of the deep. I-21. What about the other one? This guy's misspelled success. This is a time cap... 
Kaspul from January 21st, 2018. This was launch day and in honor that I thought I'd leave a present and a picture of my base. It's something you always need yet seem to always forget. I don't have a base. I can't forget something I don't have. Alright, let's go further down the hole. Maybe there's more time capsules here too. I only found two here. Hmm. Should I make a base like right here? This place looks kind of nice. Yeah, I should move the seam off closer, but not deeper. I, ca I can move it way closer than this, and I can just swim straight down. Oh, hot to, hot to, hot to. Oh, it's the geysers. What are these? Ruby? My rubies now. <laughs> it was a bait. I gotta dump some stuff in the in my Seamoth's trunk. Upgrades. Thirty seconds. Is there even a trunk? Welcome aboard, Captain. Maybe it's like here or something? You need to upgrade it? Oh, okay. Oh come on, there was like there was like one centimeter in it. Da, da, da. Thanks, Mrs. Satit, for the nine months. This thing is kinda like a flashlight, right? A little bit. Space do I have? Not that much, really. Mm. What the fuck? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. That's not cool. That's honestly just plain rude. He just like fucking hit me once and then he left. He probably took my wallet too. What a fucking dick. Fuck this shit, I'm going home. That's just plain rude, honestly. What are you even supposed to do against that? 
Hey, it just like it snuck up on me too. There was noise, but no. Nothing else. I'm homeless. Yeah, it's true. Nah, I'm, I'm homeless. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to stay. Don't know where to go now. Hmm. Hmm. Can I make a base yet? Do I have the necessary blueprints now? Oh, I do. Inventory space that I have. Oh, I can carry some some of those eggs back if I meet the, the right biome. Man, why could I take so much of my health like that? Is that is that HP regen in this? No, right? It's gonna be on 26 until I use medkits. Feels fucking bad, man. There is? Oh, there is! It's 27 now. Did I have the recipe yet for that new... Uh, the new thingy, the new vehicle. No, I don't. It was like a, another submarine or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should really start moving out and make a new base. Somewhere further down. I need a place to store my shit, man. Can I somehow attach these boxes? No, you can't. Oh my god! So if there's shit in there, you can't. You can't take them. Oh my god! Check building options. Well, first I gotta process these these eggs. I need lubricant from one. That's for sure. I don't need more rubber. I'll just make two lubricants. All right, all right. What do I do? What do I do now? No, oh, there's. Did I go to this one already? Hmm. Guess I make a base. But how do you even start? If you make a room like that, doesn't it just get flooded fucking instantly? Like what? Do I still do art stuff? stuff? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Hmm. I could also go to the ship, but I guess I'll go to that thing first. 
I have- I need to ditch some stuff, fuck. And I guess I'll carry a bunch of titanium with me, I'll- I'll just build my base as I get there. Build a base as I get there. Come on, bro. Why is it just chilling there?